Hi there! In today's video I am going to create this snake game using GPT Autopilot without any coding and only prompting. So if you want to see that then stay tuned and watch until the end of the video. So let's get started. So I will run GPT Autopilot with the simple flag so that it will not ask me any questions in the beginning and I will use the git flag as well so that we will commit everything to a git repository so that we can revert if something goes wrong. So let's do that. And note that I am using the GPT 3.5 turbo model and the 16k version. And I also have this 0613 version because that supports the function calling. So no GPT-4 needed for this. So I will say create a snake game in Python with pygame in a single file. No folders. Now I add this because this often likes to create unnecessary folders, but I want just one single file. So let's see what it does. Okay, we are writing to snakegame.py. Alright, and we have written something, so let me go to the code folder, which has the snake game now. So let's run python 3 snakegamepy And we have a snake game. <laughs> it's a very small snake game, but it actually works. And we are having actually a score in there and I can move this thing and I can hopefully eat something. And now it disappeared. Okay, so it doesn't work perfectly. So let's ask it to do something else. So let's say yes to this, we want to do something else. And I will say make the food and the snake blocks 25 by 25 pixels. Let's do this first and see what happens. All right, and we have done the change. So let's go back and let's run this game again. And now we have a bigger blocks here, but now it screwed this up. So we cannot eat the food. So let's quit this game and let's retry this. So I'll say yes, and I will say actually revert, and I will say make the food and the snake blocks 25 by 25, and make sure to fix the grid system. So hopefully it understands now, okay, you have to make sure that the grid is correctly positioned. Okay, we have done that, so let's run the game again, and let's see if we can now eat. Okay, we can eat, but the snake is not growing anymore. <laughs> so let's fix that. Please make the snake grow as it eats the food and start the game with five pieces of snake tail. All right, then it asked me, is there anything else? Well, let's see if there's anything else. Um, <laughs> okay, so it crashes right away. So let's go back and I will say no to this because that was a message directly from ChatGPT. But now I will say yes and I will say retry. So we will go back in the Git history and we will send the same prompt again. And we will see if it does it properly this time. And let's see if it works now. Okay, <laughs> kind of worked, but not really. So let's try to do one thing at a time. So actually I will retry one more time. All right, let's go back and see it still crashes. So I will revert this and I will say just make the snake grow as it eats food. And let's go back and let's try to run it. And now if I can eat that, then now I'm growing actually. But now we can actually go back with the snake. Although now it crashes because I think <laughs> it detected that I hit myself when I went back to the direction I'm coming from. So let's fix that first. And I really want to <laughs> have it appear from the other side when it goes over the edges. So let's do that. Let's say first, make the snake not be able to go to the direction it's coming from. And let's run this again. And let's see, if I go up and I try to go down, it won't go. If I go down and I try to go up, it doesn't go. So now it should work as it should. So now I can eat these and it's getting longer and longer. So that works great. So what is the next thing? I want to wrap around. So let's close this and let's go back. Make the snake wrap around the edges. All right, and that is done. So let's see if we are actually wrapping around the edges. 
yes, we are appearing from the other side when we go there. And we can still eat, and we are getting longer, and we have the score tracking and everything. So everything still works. That's great. What do we want to do next? Now, I would like to have some graphics in this game. Now, GPT Autopilot cannot create images yet. But what if we just ask it to use some images and we can create them ourselves? So let's try and do that. Make the food be an image from food.png. The snake head an image from head.png. And the tail pieces an image from tail.png. And while it's doing that, let's create those images. Um, what happened? It didn't do anything. It created a directory images. Okay, um, please continue. Or actually, I will just do retry because it should do it automatically. It should update the code. Okay, it's actually trying to download some image. I don't think that is a real URL, is it? It is not. So let's say, no, I don't want to do that. And no, I don't want to do that. I forgot to say that I will create them. So I should have an option to stop <laughs> this now. Um, I will say yes, whatever. Try to download that. And yes, do that, whatever. And then we are writing to snakegame.py. Okay, now I will in fact do revert and I will <laughs> modify my prompt. I will say make the snake head and image that comes from head.png, the food come from food.png, and the snake tail pieces come from tail.png. I will create those images. Just update the code to use them. Okay, we are creating a directory images, and we are writing to snakegame.py. So now let's go and create those images. So let's go to photo P and let's create some images. New project 25 by 25. And let's create some sort of apple here. Do they have an apple in the shapes here? Actually, I can't see the shapes because my browser is zoomed in too much. Oh, it's over here. Custom shape and shape. Do we have an apple here? <laughs> yes, we have an apple, okay? Let's use this apple. So here we have an apple. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for this. So let's make a green apple. That is a very beautiful apple. And let's remove the background and let's export this as a PNG. And I will call it apple.png. And let's create the snake head. So it can be just a ball. So let's do that. And let's make it a red snake. That is a good one. And let's export this as PNG and let's call it head.png. And the tail, I guess, is the same. I will make it a different color so we see that it's different. So let's do something like that and export this as a PNG and let's call this tail.png. Okay, and let's go back to GPT Autopilot and let's see what it has done. So if we list this, we have images and in the images we shouldn't have anything. Yes. And let's actually take a look at the snake game. Do we have some images here? Okay, yes. So here we are loading the images. So let's just put those images in there. So let's cd to images and let's copy from downloads head.png, sorry, dot and tail.png dot and food, did I call it apple? <laughs> apple.png food.png. And then I guess let's run it and see what happens. So, sorry, python3 snake game.py. And look at this. <laughs> we have a snake that can eat an apple. And the apple moves in a new place and we are growing the snake as well. And I guess that the snake head is a different color, but it doesn't seem to be a different color. So something went wrong there. So let's go back here and let's say I can't seem to see the head image. Perhaps a tail image is on top of it. Can you fix that? 
Maybe it's like adding the tail on top of the first piece of snake head. All right, let's see what it has done. So let's run it again and it seems brighter. Okay, it disappears for some reason. That's weird. Why does the head image disappear when I eat the first food? So now it's brighter, but then if I eat this one, then it disappears. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go and revert that one and let's retry this one. So we will do the snake image thing again. Maybe it will do it properly, but it didn't do anything. So again, it created these directory images. But now I cannot retry anymore because it will always revert the previous git commit, but it didn't commit anything now because you can't commit empty directories. So I will just say, please continue. Please continue with updating the code. And I probably need to add my images there again because we reverted git, so they have disappeared. So let's do head and let's do tail and let's do food. And let's run the game again and see if it is and see if it works this time. Okay, here we have the snake head. Okay, now it's working. We have a different color head than the tail. So now I can eat these apples, green apples here and it is growing and it works. That's pretty cool. Now, I would like to have some eyes on the snake. So let's draw some eyes on the snake head. So let's go back to photo P and let's control Z back to, sorry. Apparently I cannot control Z the color change. So I will change the color back to this one and a bit darker. And I'll add some eyes. So let's take the brush and let's take a white eye and put it here, sorry, new layer here and here. And let's save this head.png and it probably went to head two. So I have to say CD images and let's do head2.png and let's call it head.png. No, it is not that, it is just one. Okay, and let's go back and let's run this thing again. And now we have eyes, but now of course <laughs> the eyes are pointing in one way all the time. I would like them to point to the direction of the snake. So let's see if we can do that. I added eyes for the snake. By default, they point to the right. Can you make it so that the head image rotates based on the direction of the snake? All right, we have done it. Let's go back and run the game. Okay, it is actually rotating, but it is not going to the right direction. So if I go up, it goes right. If I go left, it goes properly. Down cross goes properly. So right and up are going in the wrong way. So let's try. So, okay, so I have to flip them around. Now I could retry, maybe it does it properly, but let me say the image um, change the rotation of the eyes to the right and eyes to the up direction around. Does that make any sense? I don't know how to explain this thing. All right, let's see. Now it crashes. Okay, <laughs> so let's do a revert. And let's do a retry of the previous one. Okay. Um, again, it created just images directory. So please continue with updating the code. And I will try to copy the images before it does its commit. So then it will be added in the commit. So I will copy head, sorry, one and food and tail. And let's see if I did it in time, maybe not. Okay, we added food and head, but not tail, okay. Let's see now, if we run the game, it crashes. So let's do a retry one more time. And let's take a look. No file, okay, so we have to copy the head. And actually we don't have anything, we have just tail here now. So let's copy the food and let's copy the head. And let's go back. 
And let's run it. And angle is not defined. Do you mean range? <laughs> no. Um, damn it, it worked the first time. But now I ruined it. Retry. And let me get the images again. Okay, and now we have committed our images as well. So let's see what will happen. All right, now it works, <laughs> but we are again going the wrong direction. So when we go, wait a minute, when we go to the right and the left, it's fine, but up and down is wrong. Okay, so hopefully it can now fix that. You did the up and down wrong, but left and right is okay. And let's take a look. Ah, now the left and right is wrong. What? <laughs> Come on. Wait a minute. So now up is right, down is right, but left and right is wrong. Damn it. Let's retry this. All right. And hopefully now it works. Up, down, right, left. Yes, now it works. Perfect. And we can eat and it works great. So what is the next thing we are going to do? Let's add a background image as well, because this black background is not really that amazing. So let's do that. Add a background image from background.png. I will create the image. And let's hop into photo P again. And what is the size? Maybe like 800 by 600. And let's put some sort of pattern here. Let's go to pattern overlay. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> what do we have in here? Okay, let's use this beautiful pattern as the background for our snake game. And let's put some text here, snake. And let's save this thing as background.png. And let's go back here and let's go to images. And let's say, CP downloads background here. And let's run this thing. And we don't have a background for some reason. What did it do? Again, it made just the images. Damn it. Please update the code to have the background image. Now, one funny thing about this is that the previous time when it added just the images directory, that will be saved in the chat history. So then <laughs> it will think that, oh, that is the way I should be doing things. I should just create the <laughs> directory and not anything else. So it will learn from its mistake, but <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> it will think that that is what you're supposed to do. But now we have done something and let's see if it works now. Let's run it. And look at this. We have a snake game with a background. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is a great background or good graphics at all, but it actually works and we can eat these things and let's see if we have some sort of game over screen. So if I eat some of these and if I then try to hit myself, let me eat one more thing and I hit myself, it just ends. So let's add a game over screen. Please add a game over screen that has a button for trying again and closing the game. Now, since this code is getting pretty long, I will try to make it put this in a separate file so that if we later have to change the game over window, then we can just change that file because now we have to rewrite the whole snake game every time and it will cost more money, of course, and take more time. So I'll try to say, put the game over screen function in a different module and import it in the snake game module. So let's see if this will work. We are creating a directory modules and directory images again, for some reason. And we are creating a game over screen.py into modules. And we are reading the snake game and we are writing to the snake game. Let's actually take a look at what we are writing. So if I open this in VS code, then we should see everything here. So we have the snake game here, import pi game, import random. Okay, set some colors and the height and the foot positions and the images. All right. And in the modules, we have now game over screen where we again, okay, <laughs> we are loading some images now. 
So we are going to have to create these images. Game over, try again, close button. Okay. And hopefully here we have game over. Okay. So check for collision and then result is game over screen. And then if the result of that is try again, then we reset the snake and otherwise we just close it. So the game over screen function will return try again if we click try again. So let me create these game over and try again and close button images. I'm not sure what size they should be. I will create this game over like 300 by 100. That's too small. And let's add here some kind of orange. No, background is orange. Just a blackish game over like that. And let's remove the background and let's do a trim. And let's save this. Game over. I'm assuming it's the game over text. And what else do we have? Try again button and close button. Okay, so let's do like 70 by 30. 100 by 43 and let's write here try again and let's make this one orange and let's add a rectangle with some radius and let's put that above and let's make this kind of black and let's remove the background and let's trim it and let's save it and let's also do close and let's export this as close button and let's copy these over here so let's go to images and let's copy again from downloads game over and let's copy try again button and can i actually copy them in the same downloads close button so now we should have everything here and if we go back here and we run this thing then it still works and if I now try to end the game somehow which is kind of difficult because I have to first make myself long enough okay now I think I can somehow hit myself game over <laughs> try again close okay the buttons are a bit small but looks pretty nice if I click try again, then we start over and we can play again and the score is zero. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so it actually works. I will make the buttons a bit bigger because they are too small right now. All right, I have made the buttons bigger. So let's see now how this will work. Actually, I want the snake to be like five pieces long to begin with because now it's just a snake head. So let's do that first. Make the snake start out as five pieces long and let's see if it in fact is five pieces long now <laughs> no game over <laughs> try again okay so let's retry retry and what happened to my images now i have to figure out some way to add my own commits all right we have tried again let's see if it now works game over still um, let's try to fix it by not retrying, but actually asking it to fix it. Now the game over screen comes out right away when I open the game. All right, we have done something again. Let's see if it now works. No, still doesn't work. So let's do a retry. All right, now hopefully it will work. Hey, it actually worked. So I forgot already what we were <laughs> trying to do here. We were trying to make it start out with five pieces, but it does not start out with five pieces. But at least it works. So, hmm, that's a bit annoying. But let's do this again. So game over screen looks nice. We have bigger buttons and we can try again and we can start moving again and it works. And we still wrap around and it works pretty nicely. <laughs> Let's implement a high score tracking. Save the high score into a JSON file after the game is over. Also, change the score text color to black. Save the best 
five high scores and show them in the game over screen. Ask for a name when the game ends and show that name in the high score list. Implement the high score functionality in a different module. Let's see if it can pull this off. All right, we have again done something. Let's see if this still runs. It does not run. Game over screen takes one positional argument, but three were given. Okay, so it probably forgot to do something. So let's just add this error in here and let's see if it can fix it. And let's run the game again. And we have high scores here. <laughs> but again, the game over screen comes right away. Enter, <laughs> enter your name. When, <laughs> when I click try again, it puts in the terminal, enter your name. Okay, so let's try to close this somehow. My computer has completely frozen. This is great. Okay, so let's say this. The name input should be an actual GUI input field, not a terminal input. Let's do that first. Can it create that? Okay, let's see what happens now. No module named Pygame GUI. That is probably something we have to pip install. So let's see what it will do. Okay, it says we should pip install PyGUI. <laughs> But it didn't actually do it, so fine, I can do it myself. pip install pygame GUI. Alright, that is done. So let's run this thing again and see if it now works. Game over. <laughs> okay, now it changed our buttons. Okay, so what if I say try again? It will still ask for input here. Jack, can I actually do it? It added Jack here. Jack zero. <laughs> but it's still here. What? Try again. And then it asks for a name. Okay, so let's do this. Change the name input into a GUI input field. And let's see what happened now. Return outside function. Okay, let's do retry. And let's try again. And now we have an input field. Jack, submit. Add high score is not defined. Did you mean high score? Failed to open theme file at path theme.json. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I cannot input multiple lines to the Python input. So I will try to make this just one line. And I will then paste it in there to this one. And hopefully it will fix something. And let's see what happened. Okay, and I type here, Jack, submit. Add high score is not defined. Did you mean high score? Let's go take a look at the code. Add high score. Add high score. Ah, that's probably the thing to add the high score to the JSON file. So let's say that, um, please implement add high score function in the game over score screen that saves the high score to the JSON file along with the name and score. Let's do that. Now at this point we are running out of <laughs> memory in the ChatGPT API so perhaps I need to stop this but we were able to do it because it is automatically removing old messages from the message history when it starts to get too full. But of course, that might cause other problems. But let us now see what happens when we open this thing. Okay, game over, very tiny text. Your score zero. And I will say Jack and I will click submit. And then it will ask for the name. Jack. And nothing happens. So I will revert some of the changes. And I will give up on the high scores. Or at least the high score list. So let's do revert. And now we are at fix the issue with the name error. And we will revert again. And now we are at change the name input to input field. And I will revert again. Now we are refactor the 
refactor the game over screen to use GUI elements and I revert and we have the same thing we revert and finish implementing the game over screen module I think I will revert this as well let's actually see what it looks like at the moment yeah now we added the high score things it's actually loading them from the <laughs> JSON file apparently because we had two checks here now so let's go back one more step revert so now we are finalized the implementation of the snake game all right so now if i open this oh we are still at an error wait a minute do we have to revert one more time fix the issue with game over screen appearing right away okay now it works so now we are back to a working version but we don't have the high score tracking so how about we just implement the high score in a way that if we have a high score in the end of the game we save that high score and then we show the high score. Just that. Let's do that. Add a high score tracking system. Show the high score in the end of the game. Save the high score to a JSON file. Okay, we are creating a directory data and a file highscores.json. And then we are updating the snake game again. Okay. Let's see if we have, in fact, high score tracking now. So let's run it. And score is zero. If we do score 10, and we actually have to do like score 50 in order to actually get an end to this game, because I cannot die with this snake. Game over. Okay. It doesn't show the high score. What if I try again? Um, I'm at zero now. And what if I now do another score? Okay, I did game over again, but I cannot see anything. Let's close it and let's go to data and let's see what we have in here. High score 80. So I think it actually worked, but it doesn't show it. So show high score in the bottom of the screen on the game over screen and let's see now if we actually have a high score in the end screen so i will gather some green apples and then i will try to go to the game over screen and let's actually try to make a high score so the previous one was 80 so now we are at 80 and now we're at 90 so now if i do this high score 90 now it's in the wrong place, so I will. how do I make it go in the end, in the bottom? Move the high score text lower and make it black. Also make the score in the upper left corner black. Alright, we should now have a snake game for five bucks. So let's see if it actually now works. So if I eat some of these apples again and go to the end screen, then hopefully we will see the high score in the right place. And at, at least the score right now is black, so we can actually see it. And I think it was a mistake to put the snake text in the background. I don't know why I did that. But let's make another high score. It's now 100. And if I do that, then 110 is high score. And we can try again and we can play again. And if I go to the end screen again, if I can kill this little snake, it's very difficult. <laughs> okay, high score is still 110. And if I close it, and if I open it again, then presumably it is still 110 because it is saved into the file. So if I eat these things again and I try to end, it is still 110. So now we are saving the high score. So now we have a fully functional snake game with custom graphics made only with prompting. That is pretty cool. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video. And if you want to try GPT Autopilot, you can go to my GitHub repository, which I will link in the description. Now, this current version is not in the releases yet. Perhaps it will be when I publish this, but it is in the develop branch so if you want to try this one with the git and all the new features then you can pull the develop branch and then try it out yourself but be careful because 
it has access to the file system, so I will not be responsible if you destroy your whole machine by using this application. Maybe use it in a virtual machine or something. And also make sure to give me a star on my GitHub repository if you like this. And I will see you in the next one.